Monash University welcomes you to a presentation of the undergraduate level courses on offer in the Faculty of Medicine. For full information regarding the courses, please visit www.monash.edu. From the front page, there is a Find a Course button, allowing you to select a discipline area. Then, the Find a Course page is displayed with many further filters you can use to find a specific course. Each of these pages shows the various ATARs that have been achieved by the previous year's applicants. It is important to realise what these mean. Lowest selection rank to which an offer was made is the lowest raw adjusted ATAR, adjusted with any equity or subject adjustments of a Year 12 student who received an offer for a place. Monash Guarantee. Each Monash undergraduate degree has a Monash Guarantee ATAR, which is lower than the expected selection rank for that course. As long as you meet all the other entry criteria plus the Monash Guarantee criteria, you will be eligible to obtain a place. Lowest ATAR, to which an offer was made, is the lowest raw unadjusted ATAR of a Year 12 student who received an offer for a place. It is important to note that achieving these ATAR scores does not automatically secure you a place in the course. The faculty has a limited number of places in most of its undergraduate courses due to government restrictions and limited clinical placement opportunities. Monash offers courses in the following areas paramedicine, nursing, public health, biomedical science, radiation therapy, radiography and medical imaging, medicine, occupational therapy, nutrition science, physiotherapy and psychology. Our medicine program is a five-year undergraduate program which is run on the Clayton campus. This course is highly competitive and Monash is one of the few universities who run a medical program from Year 12. There are two pathways to study medicine at Monash. The first is from Year 12, referred to as Direct Entry. Currently, there are approximately 239 places for the course. The number of places is limited and based on government requirements, the resources of the university and the availability of clinical placements. After completing five years of study, students then enter a one-year internship. If applicants are not successful with a place in the course after Year 12, they may be eligible for the Graduate Entry Pathway after completing one of the four acceptable Monash undergraduate degrees. There are approximately 73 places available for this course. It is the same course as the Direct Entry, but is only for four years as these students already have relevant foundation knowledge in medicine. The selection criteria for the Direct Entry Medicine program is broken into three equal parts. Results from sitting the UCAT University Clinical Aptitude Test, your ATAR from VCE or your Year 12 equivalent, an interview in the format of a multiple mini interview. The VCE prerequisites are set out on the webpage and in the VTAC guide. If you have not completed the subjects with the minimum study score, you will be ineligible for the course. Sitting the UCAT is mandatory, as is attending the interview. The dates which the university has set are the only days which you will be able to sit an interview. If you are unable to attend one of these days, you will be ineligible for the course. There are currently approximately 239 Commonwealth-supported places in the medicine program. This includes 30 places as an extended rural cohort student and 28.5% as a bonded medical place student. The extended rural cohort medical students spend the first two years on the Clayton campus, but their third to fifth years, which is their clinical training, will be spent mostly in rural or regional Victoria. This cohort has its own VTAC code, which you will need to add to your preferences if you are interested in a place which includes clinical places in rural settings. It is a government requirement that all medical schools have 28.5% of their total medical cohort as bonded students. As a bonded medical student, once you have completed your training, you will be required to work in an area of workforce shortage for a period of three years. You will not be told where you have to work, but will be given many options of places to work. This cohort has its own VTAC code, which you will need to add to your preferences if you are interested in a place in our medical course. Further information is on the Department of Health's webpage. Let's look closer into the different selection criteria required for admission. Firstly, the UCAT. You sit the test in the same year that you apply to university, and this can only be sat once per year. It is comprised of a two-hour, multiple-choice, computer-based test, which you sit at a local Pearson View Test Centre. It assesses a range of mental abilities across five separately timed subtests. This test is made up of four subtests. 
Verbal reasoning, 44 questions taking approximately 22 minutes. Decision making, 29 questions taking approximately 32 minutes. Quantitative reasoning, 36 questions taking approximately 25 minutes. Abstract reasoning, 55 questions taking approximately 14 minutes. There is also a situational judgment test, SJT, which has 69 questions, which takes approximately 27 minutes. Each test is scored as shown, with the lowest score being 1200 and the highest 3600. Monash currently do not use the UCAT percentile when assessing our applications. They use the actual score of the four subtests. The SJT score is used as a discriminator score between applicants if necessary. You are advised to put the same amount of effort into the whole UCAT test. There are plenty of details on the UCAT website, including practice tests and tutorials. The interview for the medicine course is using a multiple mini interview, MMI format, and focuses on these seven domains. Interviewers are looking for how you reason and think about issues which are raised in set scenarios which are based around these domains. The MMI consists of eight sequential interview stations and the possibility of one or two inactive stations. This is called a circuit. At each station, the applicant has two minutes reading, changeover time and eight minutes of interview time. A circuit can take up to 90 minutes to complete. Each station has one interviewer and one applicant. There is no expectation of prior clinical knowledge, although some scenarios may have a medical or healthcare theme. The scenario is posted outside the room for the candidate to read prior to entering. Five questions will be asked which are based on each scenario. Each station is treated and scored independently of the other stations in the circuit. There is no right or wrong answer as each applicant will have a different response. We also have 70 places in the direct entry course available for international students. These places are additional to the 239 domestic places, so there will be approximately 310 students commencing medicine each year. The selection criteria for international students is similar to the domestic applicants. However, they do not at this stage sit the UCAT. They instead need to sit the ISAT, International Students Admissions Test. If you are not successful in obtaining a place in the direct entry course, you could apply for a graduate entry place once you have finished one of the other acceptable Monash undergraduate degrees. This course is the same as the direct entry course, however, you only complete one year on campus, which is the campus in Churchill, before completing your third, fourth and fifth years in a clinical setting. You need to have completed one of the acceptable Monash undergraduate degrees with a minimum WAM weighted average mark of 70 to apply. You do not have to sit the GAMSAT, the graduate entry test that many other universities use, but you would have to sit an MMI and an SJT if invited to. The acceptable Monash courses are Bachelor of Biomedical Science, Bachelor of Pharmacy, Bachelor of Physiotherapy and Bachelor of Science. 70% of the places will be given to those applicants who have completed or are completing the Bachelor of Biomedical Science. The pathway to medicine from an undergraduate course at Monash University can be complete Year 12, start an approved Monash undergraduate course the following year. In Semester 2 of your second year, apply to be considered for graduate entry medicine. A set number of applicants will be invited for an interview based on their current weighted average mark. After you complete your final year, offers are made based on your final result and score in the interview and situational judgment test. The following year, you'll start the Graduate Entry Medicine course. At Monash, we have several different schemes that may assist applicants who may be a little disadvantaged still have the opportunity to successfully obtain a place in our medical program. If you identify as an Australian Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person, there are significant advantages for applicants with regards to assistance and eligibility criteria for the courses. If you are accepted into the course, you may be able to apply to waive certain costs associated with study. The Dean's Rural List DRL, is currently for medicine and biomedical science applicants. For medicine applicants, it increases their chance of gaining an interview if they have resided according to their principal home address for at least five years consecutively or 10 years cumulatively in areas classified as RA2-5. to The Dean's Rural List is a commitment to provide access to medical places to students from rural and remote areas of Australia. For biomedical science applicants, it may increase their chance of gaining a place in the biomedical science course as the university is committed to offer a set number of places in this course to rural applicants. 
After all VTAC applications have closed, all applicants eligible for the Medicine and Biomedical Science course will be sent an email from the faculty asking them to apply for the DRL if they meet the criteria. This is via an online form and there will be details on how you can check your rurality on the Department of Health's Workforce Locator webpage. The Special Entry Access Scheme adjusts your ATAR in recognition of circumstances that may have affected your education. Applicants receive additional aggregate points which are added to your combined study scores and your ATAR is recalculated. To apply, complete a CS application including any required documentation via VTAC. Thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you to begin your journey at Monash.